an automobile production line? Yes. Toyota makes some 5 million vehicles a year, and each one contains about 30,000 parts. It takes 10 long lines like this to get the job done. What's more, they produce almost 100,000 different kinds of cars. Why do you have to make 100,000 different kinds of cars? Because our customers like different styles and colors, and we have to make the kinds of cars our customers demand. So many different kinds. And do you produce them all and line them up at the dealers for customers to buy? No. But even if we did that, some kinds would sell out too quickly and others would sit forever on the lot. Besides, there's probably not enough room in the whole country to line up that many cars. So what do you do? First, we get orders from our customers. Then, we plan the production. We make the cars as quickly as we can and deliver them to the customers. How do you produce the cars so quickly after you get the orders? We have devised a special way to do that. We call it the just-in-time system. Just-in-time? That means we can produce any kind of car very quickly after we receive an order. How does it work? We assemble different kinds of cars at the same time, depending on the orders. To make sure we can fill orders quickly, we keep a small inventory of parts for every kind of car we make on the assembly lines. So the workers can assemble any vehicle ordered at any time. Everything flows along with different kinds of cars coming one right after another. Hmm, so that's how you make so many kinds of cars so quickly. Yes, but on a real line, some of the procedures are so complicated that we have to make a lot of adjustments. What do they do in the assembly plant then? Well, first the order goes to the body production shop. When the body is complete, it moves on to the paint shop. And then to the assembly line. When it reaches the assembly line, each body has a list of parts attached. The workers look at the list, select the needed parts from their inventory, and assemble the vehicle. But if you only have a few parts for each kind of car on hand, don't you run out pretty fast? Not to worry. Every part in the assembly line is represented by a Kanban. Once a part is used, its Kanban is sent to the supplier of that part. The supplier also maintains a small inventory of every part it makes, so it can replenish the parts used on the line immediately. That's how we quickly replenish the parts used with exactly the same number of new ones. Okay, but what does the supplier do after it replenishes the parts? Doesn't it run out of inventory? Relax. The supplier then produces exactly the same number of parts that were pulled from its inventory, replenishing its stocks too. The parts manufacturers use flowing lines too, making a few of each kind of part as they are needed. And when the supplier pulls components or materials from its inventories to make new parts, it sends Kanban to its suppliers further downstream to replenish its stock too. How you make and transfer all your parts? Yes. All the part suppliers operate by well-oiled gears, meshing perfectly. Only the necessary number of parts are produced and delivered at any one time. Okay, so what do you do when a machine breaks down or there's a defective part or something? Doesn't it affect the whole operation? It sure does. Just in time works properly only when all the production facilities are turning out quality products smoothly and according to plan, each sending what's necessary to the next step downstream. 
If something goes wrong, a machine breaks down or a faulty part is found, the entire assembly line stops. An alarm sounds and an andon sign goes up. With this system, only quality products continue down the line and only defect-free cars come off the line. So, how did Toyota come up with this unique production system? We developed it gradually, based on decades of experience. It came from a lot of Kaizen that people did as they tried to find ways to make the vehicles our customers ordered correctly and with shorter and shorter lead times. I see. Kaizen actions are happening in all the plants all the time. I guess you could say the plants are always evolving. That's right. We're continually adding new technology and new machinery to the system. And every day, some Kaizen action is done on the new items too, because we're always trying to improve customer satisfaction.